Welcome back. Now, my editor asked me today if I would kiss my next guest to test a gadget. Uh, that, well, they're smiling, but it is a look of genuine alarm right there, because uh, don't worry, I'm not going to do it, but let's talk about their idea, a device which lets you kiss whoever you want to kiss through the internet, complete with sensation. Uh, I'm going to let uh, Emma Zhang and Professor Adrian Chuk explain. They're both from the Imagineering Institute and they're here in the studio with me. And thank you for bringing both the device in and for coming in. Emma, to you first of all, I mean, why did you even think of this? Well, actually, uh, it wasn't my idea. It was my supervisor, Professor Adrian Chuk. He invented this idea of uh, having a kids messenger to sort of uh, help uh, long distance couples or families and friends who are not living together to communicate uh, intimacy even though they're not physically together. Okay. Adrian, your idea, <laughs> you call it the Kissinger, not Henry Kissinger, but the Kissinger. H how does it work? Well, basically we have uh, some pressure sensors in the device. It measures the pressure on your lip and then uh, we have a bi-directional control system, so you feel the pressure of your partner's lip on your lips and they feel the pressure of, of, of your lips and it's going through the internet. So you can, kiss, you can kiss your friend, family, lovers, anywhere in the world. So if it's my grandmother's birthday, I can send her a kiss even though she's in Australia. Go on then, you brought a device each. Yeah. Demonstrate yeah. for me. Sure, sure, let's do that. So you can see uh, this device is 3D printed and uh, you can connect it to your phone and while you're having a Skype call with your friends or family, and you can put your lips here. Here we go. And then send them a kiss. I can feel mm. her kiss. I can feel her <laughs> kiss. So that's the kiss that Emma yes. sent, and you yes. can feel it straight away. Yes, almost yes. straight away. Uh, and what, and just describe the, the sensation yeah. in terms of, I mean, how realistic is well, it? Well, it's, it's, not, it's, not, it's not extremely high fidelity, because when we ask people uh, what kind of kiss we'd like through the internet, they thought, they thought a, a very realistic kiss with like human lips would be creepy. So we deliberately made it to be the form factor, be not, not so realistic. So it gives, you, it gives you the impression of kissing without being totally realistic. Of course, the next step, we can do very realistic. Well, I'll come to the next steps in a, in a moment, but, but just in terms of... So you, you're trying to do it, and if you twist it round, we'll get, get to see, but you're trying to do it with, yeah. with a visual aid as well, so that it's all yes. married up, is it? Yes, so this is actually supposed to be a video chat. So in this app, uh, so if you imagine that you're having a video chat with your daughter when you're away on business trip and you can see her but, and you can hear her, but you can't really reach out to kiss her. Yeah, so with this device, you can, you can, you can send her a kiss. You know, I was and, describing this to yeah. my eight-year-old last night and she thought it was a really good <laughs> idea, just in terms of, you know, and those occasions where you're away. Di both directions. Absolutely. Yeah. Adrian, how long have you been developing this then? Well, actually, it's, it's quite a few years, nearly 10 years. Uh, the early version, we did a kind of human head with lips. And as, as I mentioned before, people said it looks so creepy. So we decided we should go not realistic. And people feel very comfortable with kind of form factor. They don't feel like they're kissing a and then, zombie. And the next stages, because it's already taken you a decade, yes. so you're talking about developing all the time. <laughs> what is the next bit? I'm actually going, we're going back to the roots, because uh, 10 years ago, we couldn't make a very realistic human head. But now we can. So we're actually going to make very realistic human heads of myself, of my students, and we can see each other in per almost perfect 3D in silicone and kiss each other through the internet. It's really interesting because I think you were actually demonstrating this uh, uh, to an audience that uh, there's been a conference in London about robots, about uh, our human relationships with robots. So I just want to show our viewers just a, a little snatch about what that conference has been like. Have a look at this. From time to time, we bring you interesting and unusual people. But now let's meet probably the strangest man we've ever introduced. The name is Geiger, and although not quite human, he's certainly the nearest approach yet created by man. A 1950s vision of our robotic future. Machines made very much in our own image that can speak like us, dance like us, maybe even love like us. Oh well, those will be the days. <laughs> It's the holy grail of robotic development, but it also raises a whole host of ethical questions. Would you have sex with a robot? Would you marry one? What rights would it have? It might sound far-fetched, but this year a number of high-level panels were set up to tackle just such questions. In the meantime, much of the technology is focused on making affection easier amongst humans. 
It's really fascinating that. I was most intrigued that you've got there at this conference just a whole group of academics, of manufacturers. I mean, people are looking at this whole area, Adrian, really quite seriously now. Yes, very, very seriously, because uh, we think in the, in the very, very near term, we're going to be friends with robots. We're going to fall in love with robots. Really? And we're even going to really? marry robots. Yes, no, absolutely. I, I think, uh, uh, in fact, one of our uh, uh, speakers said that before, by 2050, uh, it will be legal to marry a robot. Legal, legal in UK to marry a robot. <laughs> and and uh, 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 there'll be lots of people both laughing and think yeah. it's rather odd. Yeah. But we'll leave that to, to, to one side. Just in terms of technologically, yes. where we are, because things like taste and smell. I mean, people have been trying to digitise that. Yes. It's so far eluded everyone, hasn't it? Yes, it's a very difficult problem because unlike light and sound, uh, taste and smell molecular based. But in, in our lab, we're actually working on devices that you can put on your tongue, in your nose and stimulate ele with electricity, taste and smell, so then you could send it through the internet. How far away from that? I mean, we've seen it's taken you a decade for this. So <laughs> those sorts of developments, how far away from that? Well, we've done it in the lab. We can stimulate taste with electrical signals in the lab. We're working, we're working on smell stimulation in the lab now. So I think, you know, within three to five years, we can see... Three to uh, five years? Some com yes, commercial products. It's a, it's a very fast-changing technology. Do you know, I said right at the beginning, I, I wasn't going <laughs> to get involved with all of this, but I'm absolutely intrigued. So. Do you know what, Emma? I'm going to let you give me a little peck on the cheek yeah, uh, to say course. goodbye. Go on then, of have course. a go, and I'm going to just actually find out what that feels like. All right. So I put it to my cheek. All right, ready? And off you go. All right. Mm. <laughs> well, that's a sensation of sorts, but not quite the sensation I was uh, expecting. Absolutely fascinating. Uh, a little bit of work still left to do, but Adrian, thank you so much, thank and Emma, thank much. you for coming on thank and uh, both showing us the device and explaining it. Uh, Really odd, that was, but uh, <laughs> Thank very thanks very much. Thank uh, just to remind you uh, of what's coming up here on the programme, we're back live in Berlin. We are expecting an update from prosecutors, so we're back there with all the very latest on that, our main story. Absolutely fascinating chat there, and uh, I'm going to try it out a little while again. See you in a minute.